the most demanded topic on my youtube channel is law of indices so today in this video i'm going to teach you law of indices so you will learn here formula with example formula example if you know the formula with example if you know how to use that formula then it's easy to solve the problem related with law of indices so in this video i will teach you formula with example and we will do some questions let's take a start number one a power m into a power n now look at here base means a and power means m and n i told you before also when base same and in multiply we have to add the power so we can write a power m plus n when base same base means a when base same and in multiply we have to add the power for example i will teach you with example if 2 power 3 into 2 power 5 we can write here now you can see base means 2 and in multiplication when base same and in multiply we have to add the power so 2 power 3 plus 5 it means 2 power we have to write on 8 hope you understand this base same and in multiply we have to add the power number 2 a power m divided by a power n now when base same and in divide we have to subtract the power so we can write here m minus n base same base means a power means m and n when base same and in divide we have to subtract the power for example you can see here 2 power 5 divided by 2 power 3 look at here base same and in divide we have to subtract the power so we can write here 2 power 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 power 5 minus 3 means 2 and 2 square is equal to 4 now look at next uh, number 3 a b whole power m this a b whole power m this power m is for a also for b also so we can write here a power m b power m this power m for a also for b also so for example you can see here with example if uh, a b and whole power 2 so this is square for a also for b also so we can write here a square b square hope you understand if any number here suppose 2 into 5 so you can multiply and find out square of 2 now next number 4 you can see here a power m by b power m now look at here power is same then we can write a by b whole power m or you can see here if a by b whole power n then this power n for a also for b also so we can write here a power n by b power n either this one power same so we can write a by b whole power m if whole power is given this power for a also for b also similarly you can see number five a power zero any number power zero is equal to one for example if you see here two power zero is equal to one any number power hundred power zero is equal to one any number power zero is equal to one next number you can see um, x power minus a if power is negative we have to convert always into positive if power is negative we have to convert into positive so we can write here 1 by a x power a x power a we have to write or 1 by x power minus m now you can see here here in denominator here is minus m then we can write here x power m for example you can see here for example example is very necessary if 2 power minus 2 then what we have to write on in this form x power minus a then what we have to write 1 by x power a so here also 1 by we have to take in denominator 2 is square we have to write and 2 is square means 4 so 1 by 4 we can write similarly this also if 1 by 2 power minus 3 so we have to write in this form 2 power 3 2 power 3 means 8 we have to write down hope you understand this uh, law of indices formula these laws you have to remember before starting problem let's do let's do some problems related with class 8 and 9
see here simply find number one i took from class eight x power three into x power four look you can see here base same x x means base same base same and in multiply we have to add the power so we can write here 3 plus 4 is equal to x power 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 base same base means x base same and in multiply we have to add the power means 3 plus 4 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 hope you understand this one now look at this one here first we have to multiply this number 2 into 1 by 4 we have to write down now base same a means base same and in multiply we have to add the power so we can write here minus 4 plus 4 base means a and in multiply also we have to add the power minus 4 plus 4 so you can see here 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 so we can write 1 by 2 a power minus 4 plus 4 means 0 a power 0 means 1 so we can write here 1 by 2 into 1 is equal to 1 by 2 2. Similarly, you can see here last one number C uh, x power minus 5 into 2x power 4 divided by 4x square. So here is divide. So do one thing x power minus 5 into 2x power 4 divided by 4x square. It's easy to understand if you divide like this. It means we can cancel 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4. Now you can see here base same and in multiply we have to add the power. So x power what we have to write minus 5 plus 4 by 2x square. Again we can see 1 by 2. Here is how much remaining here minus 5 plus 4 means minus 1. Yes by x square now you can see again base same and in divide we have to subtract the power so 1 by 2 x power 2 here is minus 1 when you when you will take in denominator it will be plus 1 so 1 by 2 x power 3 if negative it will be positive if positive it will be negative same opposite now look at next uh, look at the question number d this power 3 for both the terms i already provided you law of indices before starting this video now look at here we have to multiply the powers 2 into 3 6 b power nothing than 1 1 into 3 3 into a power minus 3 into 2 minus 6 3 to the 6 b power 2 into 2 it will be 4 now you can see base same a means base base same and in multiply what we have to do add the powers so we can write here 6 add the power but here is minus so we have to write minus 6 now again you can see here base same b base same and in multiply we have to add the power so 3 plus 4 so you can write here a power 6 minus 6 0 and b power 4 plus 3 7 a power 0 means 1 into b power 7 is equal to b power 7 is the answer look at this one very easy this base same m means base base same and in multiply we have to add the power so m power minus 4 plus 6 we can write here uh, minus 4 plus 6 means 2 6 minus 4 plus minus minus we have to subtract 6 is greater and in front of 6 here is plus so we have to write down plus only okay so m power 2 look at last one 2a power 6 divided by 2a power 2 base same base means 2a here base same and in divide we have to subtract the power so we can write 2a power 6 minus 2 so 2a power how much here 6 minus 2 4 hope you understand up to here okay now this power 4 for 2 also for a also so we can write 2 power 4 a power 4 2 power 4 means 2 power 4 means 2 into 2 4 4 2 is 8 8 2 is 16 so 2 power 4 means 16 a power 4 hope you understand this question number f now look at next look at the question number g this power c is here for both the terms so we can write x power 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 we have to multiply a into c a c we cannot add a plus b because base is not same here is x here is y we cannot add some students will write x y power a plus b don't that is mistake when base is same then only we have to add the powers when base is not same how to add here x here y this means base is not equal so we cannot add the powers so we have to multiply using power rules this power c for this term also x power a also y power b also it means a into c a c similarly y power b into c b c we have to write okay here multiplication here also same x power 
a into b a b and y power c into a a c now you can see here base same x x base same this two base same and in multiply we have to add the power so we can write a x power a c plus a b similarly you can see here y also base same and in multiply we have to add the powers so b y power we have to write on y power b c plus a c so y power b c plus a c now a x power what is common here common is a remaining b plus c or c plus b you can write anything y power when you take here common common is uh, c remaining a plus b hope you understand this uh, question number g now look at h here is very simple base same a means base base same and in multiply we have to add the power now look at here how to add how to solve this type of problem a power m plus n here minus m plus n if minus we have to write on minus now m and m cancel one positive one negative so we can cancel so a power n plus n like term so we can add here to n hope you understand this question now look at uh, question number i last question of question number one if you are new on my channel if you are watching first time please go ahead subscribe and like this video and don't forget to share with your friends now look at the question number i x power 4a minus 4b into x power 4b minus 4c into x power 4c minus 4a now look at here base same x x x base same and in multiply we have to add the powers base means x x x x base same and in multiply we have to add the powers powers are there so write on here 4a minus 4b plus 4b minus 4c plus 4c minus 4a and after that you can see here x bar 4a is positive here is negative again you can see 4b is positive here is here negative here positive again 4c is negative here but here is positive so we can cancel all one positive one negative again here one negative one positive again one negative one positive so remaining nothing so we have to write on zero if nothing remaining we have to write down zero x power zero x power zero is equal to one hope you understand this question number one now look at question number two number two evaluate now if power is negative always we have to try to convert into positive either we have to take from denominator to numerator or numerator to denominator you can see here 2 power minus 3 is here here is power is negative so we can write 1 by 2 power 3 we have a formula a power minus m is equal to 1 by a power m so here also we have to use look at here here is minus 1 we have to convert this positive into positive this negative power so we can write 1 by a power m so here also same so 1 by 2 power 3 means 8 2 into 2 into 2 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 now you can see i will teach you here look at here 1 by 2 power minus 3 when power is negative always we have to convert into positive now one thing remember when power is negative if equation in the form of numerator and denominator just interchange this two one one by two is here so we can write here two by one and here whole power three when like this question you just change the numerator and denominator this negative will be positive now two by one means two so we can write here two power three two power three means eight same like this question here here is power is negative what we have to do if power is negative what i told you to do just interchange the numerator and denominator so we can write here 9 by 4 and whole is square this power will be positive when you interchange the numerator and denominator power will be positive so if in down down is 9 so you have to take up up is 4 you have to take down so here negative will be positive just interchange the numerator and denominator and the power will be positive now this is square for 9 also for 4 also 4 we can write here 9 is square by 4 is square that is square for 9 also for 4 also so 9 is square and 4 is square now 9 is square means 81 9 is square 81 4 is square means 16 hope you understand this uh, three questions of number 2 now look at next Question number D, 
3x power 0. 3x power 0 means 1 divided by 5 power minus 2. We can write here 1 by 5 power 2. We have to convert into positive. So, we can write here 5 power 2. Now, 1 divided by 1 by 5 square means 25 divided. Now, we have to divide this 1 by 1 by 25. This 25 will go up. So, it will be 25 by 1 is equal to 25. If A by B by C by D, if condition is like this, here like this condition, so always we have to write A by B into D will go up. Like 25, 25 will go up. So, 25 means here we have to write d by c a by b into d by c here is a means what is here a means 1 b is not given b means definitely 1 c means 1 d means 25 so d will go up so 25 by 1 now look at this number here uh, 1 this power 3 for both the terms so we can write here 1 power 3 and 2 power 3 into 3 power minus 2 we have to convert into positive because power is negative we have to convert power always into positive so we can write here 3 square into 1 by 4 means 2 square we can write here and whole square 4 means 2 square now you can see here 1 cube means 1 and 1 into 1 into 1 means 1 you can write like this 2 power 3 2 power 2 base same and in multiply we have to add the power so we can write here 3 plus 2 and here is 3 is square whole is square base same and in multiply we have to add the power here is 3 here is 2 so we can add and write on 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 so we can write here 1 by 2 power 5 and 3 is square whole is square this is square for both the terms so we can write here 1 by 2 power 5 2 is 10 and 3 power 2 into 2 4 hope uh, you can understand up to here 2 power 10 you have to find out 2 power 10 is equal to how much and similarly 3 power 4 is equal to how much 3 3 9 and 3 are 27 27 um, 3 is 81 and 2 power 10 is equal to how much you can find out from calculator hope you understand today's video related with law of indices i done here from question number one and two some questions in upcoming videos hope i will bring question number three four continuously i will do each and every questions from law of indices of class 8 as well as 9 thanks for watching till last uh, please comment do you understand or not uh, on this uh, topic law of indices and which topic you need please comment and tell me so i will bring as soon as possible due to lack of time uh, i was unable to provide you Mm, this law of indices video in time but uh, for that i'm extremely sorry uh, no problem i'll bring for you more and more uh, topics videos on related uh, with class 8 and 9 and especially 10 too thank you keep supporting if you are new on my channel please subscribe share with your friends don't forget to share with your friends sharing is caring so share it thank you so much